Let me show you how to add to your inventory. In Salesmart POS, anything you add to your inventory is done through the buying tab by making new purchases from a vendor or a supplier. So let's go up to the buying tab. If you don't have a vendor, create a vendor by clicking on create a vendor. And to see a list of your vendors, go to vendor list. Let's add something to our inventory by making a new purchase by clicking on new purchase. Select the vendor you're going to be buying from, let's say hyperlink, and enter the items, the products that you're going to be buying from hyperlink or from the vendor you choose. Let's say we're going to be buying an iPhone. I'm not sure which iPhone I'm deciding on to buy, so let's go into my product list and see here what items we have. Let's choose this serialized iPhone 5 16 gigabyte black and let's buy two of them. The cost price might change, so let's change the cost price here to 500 each. And to add it to a running invoice, we click on the green arrow. Because this iPhone is a serialized item and they each have it, their own IMEI, it's going to access for two IMEIs since we're buying two iPhones. So let's enter this the first MEI and the second. Let's click save and it's added to our invoice with hyperlink. Now let's buy a few cases. Let's say we're going to buy a Bluetooth keyboard case for the iPad. Let's say we're going to buy five of these for $25 each and add it to our invoice. If you notice, it didn't access for any serial number. This is because a Bluetooth keyboard case is itemized. Serialized have IMEI numbers or serial numbers, so we have to enter specifically which one are we buying so we can track this one individually. In the, in the case of a itemized item, we don't have to specify which serial number for each of the products. So we can just add the quantity. All right, everything looks good. And the bottom, we can see my due amount. This is what you you would be paying your your vendor or supplier. If you're just adding inventory for the very first time, this number is irrelevant since you've already paid this amount. Go ahead and click save. And it's going to ask you whether you want to pay from previous or register. The important part to note is that if you're paying with money that's not in the register, it's going to go in previous amount. If any cash is coming out of the register, it's going to be from register amount. In the case of adding to your inventory, you aren't allowed to pay from the register. So let's click save. And now these items should be in our inventory. Just to check, let's go up to the inventory tab, go to serialized items, Let's go to GSM phones. Let's enter iPhone in the search bar. And here we can see we have an iPhone 5, 16 gigabyte black, and we have two in stock. If we go ahead and even further, we can see the two IMEIs and we can add it to our running invoice. Let's say this is just a phone. And that's simple. I was able to add the phone into my inventory and it's already uh, available to be sold. And that's how you add inventory in Salesmart POS.